Okay. Hi, everybody. This is basic installation of the original equipment, steel rods that come with the original screens in our um, village green screen doors. And a few simple things you need after you've gotten them finished, however you like. Um, I recommend first carefully taking the rods out of these screens before you take them to any refinisher because you will care more about keeping them straight, which is very important, than they will. So uh, I can show you that in another video or I can demonstrate it to you upon request. Anyway, there's two different sizes of these rods. These very large screens, they have a, a rod that is uh, somewhere around a quarter inch. I haven't measured them. And for the smaller sections and the smaller little separate pullouts, they have a smaller diameter rod. So once you have cut a piece of screen that is about an inch at least, especially a little larger for the larger screens, around, lay it out, lay the rods on top, and I have carefully gone around with clamps, and I'm a lot more anal retentive about the details than others, but I just clamp it in place. I've made sure that the screen is fairly reasonably square to the frame. Then I go back and two different sizes of little wood uh, pounding mallets are very useful and they're both from Home Depot. Free! They are the little narrow paint paddles that you can cut into pieces and the larger paint paddles for the larger buckets. Also Home Depot. So for these larger rods, I use the larger one and I smooth it down a bit so that it doesn't just crumple and split away because, you know, they have only so much life before you have to cut another one. And once it's in place, it's very simple, just gently start to pound down, get it into position, and then you can go to town pounding it down into the channel, which is exceptionally satisfying. And you just work your way around, <laughs> making sure it's pounded all the way in, and there's a certain sound to it once it hits pay dirt at the bottom of the channel. Then you come to the corners and just keep working your way around. Apologies for this camera bouncing all over the place, but that can't be helped. So, back into the corner here. Gently at first, just to make sure you're on the right track. Pound it down. <laughs> make sure there's not a lot of loose, fragile things at the end of the table. Well, they're, they're just going to bounce off. And you just keep doing that all the way around. Sometimes it will pop up on one side when you've got it situated in the panel on the other. So just keep making sure visually that it's down in the bottom of the channel as far as you can. And you can see how this will get a little worn down. And eventually it just gives up. But it really lasts kind of a long time, one little piece like this. At the end, when you're done pounding it all in, which I'm not done with yet, but I'll demonstrate, is you just go around with a handy dandy sharp utility knife or any knife of your choosing, and you aim it down where the screen meets that rod, and you're just going to zip along, and I found that it's really easy to do if you zip it along and sort of pull up as you go, because that just helps to really cut it very quickly. Zip all the way around, and you're done. Part one finished. 